Hi guys. Somebody was asking about the uh, taper turning attachment for the Little John. Uh, I thought I'd just describe it. I'm not going to set it up because it takes a long time to get it all set right. That basically is the unit and I'm going to try and just describe very roughly how it operates. Uh, this casting here attaches to the end of the uh, saddle. This attaches to the cross slide. This is adjustable. You've got a angle setting on here. And this end, which actually has an extra piece, which is packed up by 0.45 uh, because I, I'm not sure why, whether it wasn't actually designed for the Little John originally, but anyway, this was made to allow for an offset of height. And uh, this piece clamps to the side of the rail. So I'm just going to try and point out each uh, section. So here's the anchoring section on the rail, on the rear rail and that's bolted down to a lock. This then attaches to the main body. The attachment to the saddle is here. Now this, what you can see here with spacers and a block and stuff, that's what I normally use for a uh, cross slide stop piece of bar that can slide out and lock but this would all come off so that there would equate to this on the casting so that mounts to the saddle and then this slotted piece here which goes onto the cross slide on here where these two screws at the moment hold a cover plate which just keeps muck off the uh, lead screw. With this point and this point fixed this moves on the dovetail and translates the slide offset that is set up on the degree scale transfers that to the cross slide so throughout the whole range of movement there, the cross slide is just slightly moving. Alright, hope that gives some idea of how it works. At some point, eventually, I may well set it up and do a test run. As I think I said, it's a long time since I've used it. Anyway, one other thing just before I quit on here. I'm starting to try and get set up on the mill and uh, this is to make some new fingers for the tra uh, fix steady. The plan is, and I haven't quite finished working out my sequence, but on a piece of half inch I'm going to put a center in the lathe so I can put that on the dividing head center, uh, lock up the chuck, and then using without using a dividing plate I've got this scale on here which is uh, a simple division 360 degree and I think what we'll try and do first I'll probably waste some material doing this process but we'll mill a flat on here because if I get the old one if I get the old one, we've got uh, a flat all the way down. In this case, we will mill a flat on up to near the end. And then the second stage, when we rotate 90 degrees, and I've got to find a way of stabilizing this, we go 90 degrees and then we'll mill out a slot for a bearing. But I've got to find a way of stabilizing that. So anyway, that's a plan 
and uh, I hope to get to it before too long. Anyway, that's it for now. I just wanted to show that uh, taper turning attachment for anybody who is interested. And uh, I'll be back soon, I hope. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.